Election is three weeks from today, and President Trump has told his campaign he wants to hold events every day until the polls close. The president rallies supporters in central Pennsylvania this evening. Deborah Alfarone has more from the White House. President Trump appeared energized for his first rally since being hospitalized with the coronavirus, talking for more than an hour. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. Doctors have not corroborated the president's immunity claim. The crowd in Florida cheered as he said he was virus free and couldn't spread it anymore. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women and them. Everybody, I'll just give you a big fat kiss. Health officials say scenes like this help spread the virus. We know that that is asking for trouble when you do that. The president took a swipe at Dr. Fauci on Twitter, saying his pitching arm is more accurate than his prognostications, referencing his baseball opening day pitch. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden slammed the president for not only his handling of the pandemic, but also his own coronavirus case. Just reckless personal conduct since his diagnosis as well has been unconscionable. Biden courts senior citizens in Florida today as recent polls show older Americans now support him by a wide margin. Who's better for seniors? The Trump campaign launched two new ads this week aimed at winning back seniors. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House. Former Vice President Joe Biden gave one of his most direct answers yet on whether he would add seats to the Supreme Court to offset a conservative majority. Speaking to a reporter in Ohio last night, Mr. Biden said he is, quote, not a fan of court packing. 